What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's jump right on in and start talking about the keypad on this John Deere 335P. So as we can see, the keypad on this machine is going to have a lot more than prior year models. So if we check that one out on a 333G, you can see here the difference on how many keys we have there as opposed to on this new one. So let's go ahead and take the time and go through each one of these keys so you know exactly what you're pressing and what you're doing when you get into this new machine. Now start Starting in the top left, of course, we are going to have our start stop buttons, which will be the first two. Our start, obviously, here will be our green one, and our stop is going to be our stop engine. So this is going to be a one time to turn the machine on to get our monitors on. So if I go ahead and stop, turn everything off on this machine, we would hit start. That is going to turn everything on. We've got our second monitor coming on here, our radio. Now, once you get in, you may start hearing some beeping and you may get a screen that looks like this. And this is gonna be the anti-theft part of this machine. So this is gonna make you enter a code to be able to get into this machine. So we'll go ahead and enter that code now. These are going to be customer specific. So depending on whose machine this is, depending on what they decide, they can set up this code. They can also set up multiple codes for multiple operators, but that is going to be your anti-theft system on this machine. Since we do not have a key and you can lock the outside door handle, but you do not have a key to start the inside here, the only start button that you have is right up here on the keypad. So from here, we'll go ahead and start the machine up. Now, once we start that up, we can notice here that we do have RPMs on the gauge. But now you can hear that the machine is on. You, I could go ahead from here. I can turn the AC on. I can drive the machine, do all those things. But let's continue going through our buttons up here up top. So we started at the top left, which is gonna be our start. The next one is going to be our stop button. And obviously with the red and with the stop, it's very easy to indicate what that is. Now our middle button here on the top row, this is going to be our indicator for our type of controls that we're gonna be using. So in this machine, we are going to have joysticks. We could also have the options of having pedals in this machine. So you are going to have the options of either doing the ISO hand controls, which are going to be where one handle here is going to be for our driving function and one handle would be for our loader function. Or we could have the H pattern, which is gonna be a combination to where one handle does one function of the loader and one driving function and the other handle does the other loader function and the other driving function. So you have the choice there to choose between those depending on how your machine is set up. Next moving along the top there is going to be our hazards button. So if we have hazard lights set up on this machine, if we press that hazards button, then that is gonna turn on the hazards flashers on this machine. Then our last button over here to the top right is gonna be our hydraulic unlock button. So if this does not have a light on, this means that our hydraulics are locked, meaning we can't use our levers or anything else hydraulic if that that button does not have the light on. So if we want to be able to drive this machine, I would have to push that button to make sure and turn the hydraulic lock off. And we'll see there that we have no lights indicating that our hydraulics are locked. And then, so therefore I could reach over, grab my joystick, raise the bucket up, put it down. But if at any time I needed to lock those hydraulics, I could always reach up press that button and that is going to lock those hydraulics out. Now, next, starting on the second row, we're gonna have that P right there that is a very universal sign. That is gonna be our parking brake. You'll notice that when our parking brake is on, that our hydraulic unlock is not on, which means that when we are in park, our hydraulics are also locked. So what I'm gonna do is reach up here, turn our parking brake off, and then we'll notice when we do that, it unlocks our hydraulics and then both of those symbols are gone off of our screen. Now our next button here, this is gonna be the accelerator or decelerator button. So what this is gonna be used for is if you want to use your foot pedal down on the floor as an accelerator to raise the engine RPMs, you can do that. Or you can switch it to where it decelerates, to where it slows that engine down by pushing that pedal if we were to reverse this switch. So up is gonna be for accelerate, push it again, down is gonna be for decelerate and we can switch back and forth between those two. Then the next button going next to that is going to be our rear fan here. So we are gonna have two different speeds that we can choose for that. So we can turn, go to that. That's gonna be auto. Click that back on, auto fan, 
fan is enabled. And on these machines, you're gonna be able to go in and adjust the fan rate or fan speed on these machines. So that button is going to turn it on, turn it off, and let you to go in to your screen here and adjust what you need to on your reversing fan. Now, next beside that is gonna be the one that looks like a view from the top of the skid steer looking down. This is going to be dozer mode. Now, dozer mode is gonna be one of those features that is gonna be an option from the factory. If you have the I-grade system on this machine, then dozer mode is an option that you're going to have. This machine, unfortunately, does not have it, so if we push that button, it does not do anything in this machine. Next to that is going to be our high flow hydraulics. So you are going to have a standard and high flow option on this machine. If we need to go into those high flow hydraulics to get up to that 44 gallons per minute, we would reach up, turn that button on. Once we have that pushed, then we're also going to see this corresponding light in the top right corner. And this lets us know that high flow hydraulics are on. Now, next moving down, this is going to be a picture of one of our joysticks with a plus and minus and then red buttons above it. So this is going to be one of those options that if you have the joystick performance pack, Package, you are going to be able to choose the sensitivity of your joysticks. The further you are up on that plus, the more sensitive your joysticks are. The further you are down, the less sensitive they are. So this is going to be reaction time. So this is for if you're a more ex experienced operator, then you would want to turn the sensitivity up. If you are less experienced, you'd want to turn that down. Then if we move to the right of that, this is going to be our kick out point that we can set in our settings with our joystick for our loader. When we move over from that, this is going to be our self leveling option right here next to that is going to be ride control then over here to the far right we are going to have our lock and unlock for our quick connect on our bucket so when we are going and changing out implements on this machine we have a lock and unlock for that quick connect that is down there on the bucket that is all done up here on the keypad now the next row of buttons here is all going to have to do with your loader so if we look down here we've got a button here once again with the plus and minus and a picture of our button so this is going to be for the sensitivity of your loader so when you are using that loader it is going to be sensitive on how responsive your loader is with the joystick so once again for a more experienced operator we'd want to turn that up for a less experienced operator we would want to turn that down now the next two here number seven there is going to be for our return to carry and number eight is going to be our return to dig. Now, both of these are going to be for specific applications. So if we are working on a job or we are going in, scooping in material and carrying it across the yard, dumping it, things like that, or we're going to continuously need to get back to that same carry position with our loader, then we would use that. If we're gonna be mainly digging here, maybe we're digging out a trench and then we are dropping that material and we want to make sure and return to that same angle that we have set there for our dig that is what our return to dig is going to be used for so these are going to be very niche depending on what you're doing but just know that that's what they're there for then right next to that pretty simple here on the number nine we are going to have our windshield wiper button then if we move down here to our bottom row this is going to be our ac on and off and it's going to correspond of course with our fan speed and our temperature control over here then next, we are going to have a heated and ventilated seat in this machine. So this one is going to be for our fan. This one is going to be for our heat. And of course, we are going to have three different levels here to choose from. Then we are going to have our wiper speed over here to the right of those. And then lastly, we are going to have our work light button right there. So a lot of controls in a really small package here, but this is something that is very important. It's going to be your main source other than your right hand control screen up here where we are going to control this machine anything that does not have to do with the movement now of course when we're talking about movement that's whenever we're going to be talking about our joysticks and such things as our foot pedals down here if the machine is equipped with such things but whenever we're talking about settings on this machine's different features and functions the ssm the sealed switch module up here is going to be your go-to so it's very important that we know how to use that so guys i hope this video helped you out i hope that you liked this video if you did we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you are looking for more videos like this or more videos just over john deere equipment in general make sure to go check out the rest of the channel and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys make sure to check out this cool video and this one
buy your parts right up here, and subscribe right here.